Uh, going down fast. My entire life, I've always known one thing with perfect certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well for a savage. His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked, but I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. A dangerous idiot. What an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? Hades is the ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about anything. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its doomed slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the seeking out of the shadow. All halves of nature, joined to one cause. <laughs> Your destiny is an innocent for your game. It's 
wasted effort. I, I wanted to be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction network, communication at a distance is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so no! fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted.
Here he comes. Kill her! Why 
leave it to them. Come get me yourself! You know me to The green team, the green team. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, Benora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. The Me other side of the tower. Now look for a vent. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivial and easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little boy. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put I it? I he's been here before. I'll be off. Obviously. Wait. Yes? No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I'll be on my way. I've shown you the way in. But this humble worse. vent marks the point Helis of no return. Helis ordered an detachment to attack the North Secret Link. Before you the depths here, the tribes you should be fully weak. committed, they equipped, won't stand and a focused. No you distractions. If you have errands to run, do I have first or hold your guilt. peace. I won't tolerate what kind whining. Of... Is that clear? Why do I bother asking? You're not going to tell You'll me. You'll tolerate what I give you. When the time is right, I didn't I'll ask you along for the ride. I'll contact you later. In the meantime... Should you need to return to Shadow Card to take I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One I'm exist. heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this, this world. Where the when machines you came from, the Alpha how the old down ones achieved such world. marvels only to I fall into silence world. and death. A lifetime of failure, as I year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of yeah. the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Home for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one risking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped
Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. They got in, through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? 
tomb? the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn to create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement 
from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth, did this. For life. For us. But why did Hades Of course you'll do it. If it was part to of Gaia, given the opportunity to rebuild how did what it end the wreckage I, of a pharaoh robot? The, the, the damage? Did I... Why does it want well, to I, I don't feel it? worthy of it, but, but I, I won't do it. Absolutely. Oh. I want to stress that this knowledge. was never about Intruder! Get her! I'm not uh, hey, Whatever you mean, don't die don't now. Don't you say that. Uh, hey, it is to me. Don't you say that. Don't you say that. They were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. They just told us that we were cut out of the WCR like a ball. But that's the, the better than rapid innovation. Uh, the better at competing, better than the next guy. <laughs> Science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. <laughs> I see just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard twice. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard twice as hard to work as food for my family to have a place in it. down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed... Zero Dawn. It is odd, in a way. Expression on the grandest scale. There is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Sylvain? There you go. Christina? Sylvain? Of these. Yes? I need to find the right configuration. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. 
but he wants a t There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Done. I should check the door nearby. one looks intact That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. Did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact.
or not. We've got him. Keep that for later. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like... This is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. More Eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate in
All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. A falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the it's largest the mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. Are it is my hope that there will be no need for men like me there? in the world to come. Artificial if you are one of the people of that future world, machines to spawn a to this new generation of human beings, please note that I am sorry, and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would respond inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a... Corrupted Alpha Registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Us will benefit from antelope and amorphologies. Though Capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? More mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, 
Looks like it used to hold something. Some component. Forget about traveling light. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. 